Hello guys, so it seems it's a trend now that people are dying in Kasarani after we have seen a, a lot of cases of murder and suicide in Kasarani. So there is another case that detectives are investigating the death of jo Joseph Kubende who died while in a friend's house in Roisambo. On Thursday, March 23, Kubende fell from the fourth floor of an apartment in Roisambo area. Police and other witnesses said Kubende 42 was alone at the time of his fall on Thursday evening and had landed on his head, becoming unconscious. He was rushed to Jesse K Hospital on Lumumba Drive before he was referred to Radiant Hospital in Pangani, where he succumbed. It is not clear what triggered his fall and if it was accidental or he was pushed off. Nairobi Police boss Adamson Bungay said, we understand was alone at the time of the incident and we don't know what happened to lead to his fall. Residents found his body on the ground and rushed him to the hospital. Joseph Kubande from Bongoma County had just jetted into the country from the United States of America. He had come to Nairobi to visit his cousin, Justo Misuka Wanyama, last week and was scheduled to leave today, 24th March 2023, to the U.S. where he resides. Kubande had conquered the literature field and was another drama and music teacher, inspiration, speaker, and lecturer. He also served as a literature at Kigali Institution of Education. The deceased was an irresistible crowd puller for Bugoma pol politics as he could effortlessly make crowds dance and sing. Four days ago, Mr. Kubende had celebrated poet shared his photos on social media celebrating his birthday. He even asked God to protect him and sought his guidance on every step he made. Happy birthday is what he wrote. Happy birthday to me and may my guardian Saint Joseph, the worker, protect me and guide me through this turbulent of life. Kubende is among several Kenyans who have fallen from tall buildings in Kasarani in the recent past. Condolences to the family and may his soul rest in peace.